Although there's a lot of similarities between dogs and wolves, there's enough differences that make having a wolf as a pet a very dangerous decision. First, let's talk about some of the obvious differences. We'll start with appearance. Now, a wolf's head is much larger in comparison to its body size than a dog's. A more narrow chest and more narrow hips. Along with that, much larger paws. All of these features are aiding in helping them in the wilderness. They also have very different jaws, which makes a lot of sense considering the difference in their diet. Whereas a domesticated dog needs to worry about chewing its kibble and its toys, a wolf needs to be able to chew through bone. They do, however, have the same amount of teeth, which is 42. However, a domesticated dog's teeth are much smaller in size compared to a wolf. Another trait that dogs and wolves differ is eye color. Dogs can have eye color ranging anywhere from brown all the way up to sky blue. Wolves will only have shades of yellow, amber, never brown. A dog's coat can also be all sorts of different colors, whereas a wolf consistently is brown, black, gray, or white because they use it for camouflage for survival. Now let's talk about behavioral differences. Dogs and wolves are both very social creatures, but they differ greatly in their interactions with human beings. A dog will look to a human for help, knowing that they are the leader, whereas a wolf will avoid contact with humans at all possible. Now studies have been shown that a wolf pup raised by human beings will form a bond with them. However, any other strangers they're still very aloof with. Recent studies have also shown that dog pups and wolf pups develop quite differently. It has been discovered that dogs are slower to develop and don't open their eyes or socialize as early as the wolf pups. Another really interesting fact is that wolf pups are only born in the spring. This way they have all summer to get strong for the winter, another survival technique. Whereas dogs can have pups literally any time of the year. And now the big question, can a wolf be a pet? The short answer is no. You can't domesticate a wolf. Domestication comes from years of breeding, whereas a wolf, simply that, a wolf, a wild creature. Now people own wolves, there are sanctuaries for wolves, and these wolves have definitely formed bonds with the people that are working with them. However, they're still very aloof with strangers and they're still wild creatures.